Hello, organic consumers, and hello, dear <laughs> followers of Regeneration International. And we're here in Kyoto by the Lake Biwa, which is the oldest lake and largest lake in Japan. And I'm here with a special guest. Hello. Hi. What's your name? Miyoshi Satoko. Yes. Miyoshi Satoko. <laughs> and we are here for an event. Uh, a special event organized by the Ministry of Agriculture, Forestry and Fisheries of Japan entitled Agriculture as the Solution to Climate Change. Miyoshi, so you are on the board of IFOM Asia, right. uh, IFOM which is the International Federation of Organ Organic Agriculture Movements, mm -hmm. uh, which is a big umbrella organization for the, uh, uh, promote for organic agriculture. that promotes organic food and farming mm -hmm. uh, globally. Mm -hmm. So what are we seeing here today at this event? Okay, so the Ministry of Agriculture is not only agriculture, but also forestry and fishery. So when I now talk about agriculture, it's included. So the lake and ocean and river and also forest. And of course, the soil, farming soil. It's, it has huge potential to save this climate change. 30% uh, of climate change affected by agriculture industry. So 30% mm. of man-made carbon emissions right. comes from agriculture. Right. People think maybe it's from industry and actually close to more than 30% are from uh, energy or oil using, but 30% are actually coming from the agriculture industry. Using a chemical spraying or chemical fertilizer it exposed in the farmland and it's eventually come out to the air atmosphere so we're trying to fix it uh, fix into the soil that will reduce the co2 the nitrogen from takes takes from atmosphere to the soil so th this is the first time that an, or an event like this has been organized in the region that assesses agriculture as the solution to climate change. Mm -hmm. They're not mm -hmm. saying it's a solution, they're saying that's yeah, yeah. the solution. So what they're saying, we're discussing this morning, we can change the way of agriculture and reduce the CO2 in the atmosphere. And in order to do so, we need to do a more organic way or less use of chemical fertilizer. This is a Shiga prefecture. And there was a governor was talking, he, they are practicing Shiga Prefecture eco-friendly agriculture, which is reducing CO2 emission. So that's a good practice. And uh, so I think, I hope Japan and also Asia and, and the world, they're going to the, this direction. We change the way of agriculture in that direction. Of whole population of Japan uh, working as an agriculture sector industry which is very small percent I think yeah. and it decreasing and it's more age like uh, I believe more than okay half of farmers are more than 70 or 75 years old really very old so 50 <laughs> <laughs> so 10 percent of the population yes. uh, of Japan uh -huh. uh, are employed by the farming sector. Well, they do, yeah, they do business. And 50% of them are over 70. Yes. So you need more... Young people. You need more young people. Young and you farmers. Need... Yes, definitely. Yes. Otherwise, they will go age and age and will disappear sometimes. <laughs> we have no farmers. How can we um, motivate young people to get into agriculture here in Japan? Yes, um, some people who raised in cities, they're interested in going to the farming. And most of them, uh, they're interested in eco-farming, especially organic farming. So we need to support those young new farmers who has no connection. You know, in the history, farmers are son of farmers for a long time. But now it's changing. More new people coming in the farming but they they have no access to land and they need to learn how to farm 
So I think the government should support those young farmers and who want to do organic farming. So training and access to land, yes. but also this trend of young people wanting to move from the cities back into the countrysides. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This seems to be a global trend. Mm -hmm. It's happening in the US, it's happening in Europe, it's mm -hmm. happening now in, in Asia. Japan, uh, yeah, in Japan also, yes. In Japan? In Asia, yeah, 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 definitely. Yeah. Yes. Um, and um, so you also work with uh, something called Algoa, which is the mm -hmm. Uh, Asian local governments for, for organic agriculture. Organic yeah. agriculture. Mm -hmm. Now we know that uh, policy making on a national level and an international mm -hmm. level is very complicated because mm -hmm. it always needs so much consensus. <laughs> right. But when you're dealing with local governments, mm -hmm. uh, especially local governments who are able to write their own policy, mm -hmm. uh, there is a lot of hope. Now, mm -hmm. um, Algoa mm -hmm. is an amazing initiative mm -hmm. because it represents hundreds of uh, small, uh, hundreds yeah, of local, local governments, governments. Uh, in different countries around mm -hmm. Asia yep. that are working just to do this. What yes. are we seeing with Algoa? Well, it's very powerful and it's hope. I believe in local government because it's close to the people and that empowers people and also local community. And it's very fast. Once it's set, it really do. I mean, National government is very powerful, but it takes time and they have no land next to them. But in local government, it's for local, they are focused and they know what to do. They know farmers and the farmer knows the government people. And it works very well and very fast. And each community has different challenges and characteristic, but um, the organic initiative, it fits organic always have answers to each challenges. So I think it, because it's whole approach and the system of organic, it's for really, uh, it's not only one direction, but it's whole and it changes in sustainable way. So that's really, I think it's quite good to move. Can you give us some examples of approaches yeah. from local government that, that you appreciate? Well, the Philippines, they have um, more than 100 local governments. They get, get together in Lomsi. It's very powerful and very successful. I think you just went yes, to the... Yes, so the Lomsi, which is the, the League of uh, Organic mm -hmm. Agriculture, Municipalities and, mm -hmm. and Cities. Yeah. Knowing that in, in the Philippines, mm -hmm. um, cities create their own laws. Mm -hmm. And we have, they have over 200 cities now, municipalities, that have outlawed the use of... GMOs and chemicals. Yeah, yeah. yeah, there are some good initiative for or good practice. Uh, for example, Sikkim in India or Bhutan as a country. But here in Japan also, I live in uh, Chiba Prefecture, mm. but now I talk to the mayors and everybody agreed mm. to promote open agriculture, but they don't know how to. So we support them how to make it in practice. But they find it like uh, we have a school lunch and make it school lunch, provided organic school lunch. And it, that changes people's it's learning process and it's good for kids. And farmers are very happy to provide organic food for the kids. Mm. And also it's really good for the local economy. Mm. And I think everybody appreciated it, excited. So, but, but a lot of challenges, but it's really Really the hope and people enjoy it. That's the way. We should enjoy. <laughs> <laughs> Not just discuss and upset, but we should enjoy and appreciate for the good future. Yeah. So this is what it's all about. Yes. It's about enjoying bringing back the new practices. Mm -hmm. Just as you enjoyed changing your diet, you know. That's right, yeah. Um, it's hard the first three days, but you know, gradually mm -hmm. uh, you feel a lot better after, you feel a lot lighter. Mm -hmm. And this can be also the same for uh, whole communities, communities, yeah, exactly. farming communities, and mm. even urban communities mm. as well. Mm. So um, well, thank you very much thank you. for your time uh, yeah. in answering our questions. Uh, thank you for watching. Uh, we'll be here over the next few days, so we'll be back with a couple more interviews and a video that really talks about what is going down here mm. uh, because it's important. Yep. At last, we're starting yep. to talk about mm. real solutions to a huge issue, mm. that is uh, climate change. Yeah, it's global, but also local. And I said personal.
It's global, yeah. it's local, and it's personal. We are uh, all mm. concerned, mm -hmm. all concerned by climate change, yeah. all concerned by uh, food safety and security. Um, on that note, mm -hmm. thank you so much. Thank you. Uh, please uh, join us at regenerationinternational.org and sign up to our newsletter to get all the latest information about regenerative food farming and land use and keep informed to be healthy consumers about what's in your plate at organicconsumers.org uh, mm. and also if you want to find out more about what you can do to become uh, a soil advocate you can join uh, our friends at Kiss the Ground at kisstheground.com uh, they have a special training program nice, yeah. where they train people to become soil advocates mm. and they have one coming up on the 2nd of July so please join them Thank you very much. <laughs> Signing you. out and we'll see you soon.